Major changes coming to Illinois' health insurance industry as Governor Pritzker signed the Health Care Protection Act into law today. Illinois Capitol Bureau Chief Max Cotton joins us now live in Springfield with more on the law and how it could affect you. Max? Well, hey, Daniel, and Governor Pritzker actually signed two bills into law today, creating the Health Care Protection Act. And it's his signature legislative achievement, and he believes it'll change health care fundamentally in Illinois. With Governor Pritzker's signature Wednesday, the Health Care Protection Act is now law in Illinois. The HPA was conceived, written, and passed with the goal of empowering the two most important stakeholders in the medical system, our patients and their doctors. The new law does several things, including banning so-called step therapy. This is when an insurance company requires a patient to try and fail alternative medications before covering meds their doctor recommends. It would also ban prior authorization for in-person mental health treatment for the first 72 hours. Insurance companies will also be required to post all procedures requiring prior authorization. And it ends unchecked rate increases for large group insurance companies. For thousands of Illinoisans, the reforms in this bill will mean the difference between, well, suffering with, inc with curable uh, health conditions uh, and getting the care that they need in a timely manner. And for some, this bill will quite literally save their lives. The other bill Pritzker signed Wednesday will ban short-term limited duration plans, also known as junk plans. Supporters say they're exempted from and often don't meet the minimum standards in the Affordable Care Act and typically don't cover pre-existing conditions. Too many residents in Illinois have been tricked into buying these limited duration plans for bridge insurance coverage, only to find out they're flying a plane without a parachute. Originally proposed in his State of the State address in February, Pritzker says the new laws will help ensure patients and doctors are at the center of care, not insurance companies. For too long, shoddy networks, price gouging, and overly complicated bureaucracies have stood in the way of our families getting the care that they deserve. Today, with my signature, Illinois is addressing and rectifying that problem. The Health Care Protection Act passed with bipartisan support. However, that bill banning junk plans, that passed along party lines. Opponents of the legislative package fear that it could limit choices and lead to potential rate increases. Reporting live in Springfield, Max Cotton, WGEM News.